This is Joe Glines, and those of you who use SPSS uh, a lot and try to work with string characters um, are going to cry when you see how easy this is. Um, but if you try to remove certain characters where you have an illegal character or something you're trying to drop out, it is an understatement of saying it is not easy. Um, in my macro, which I've developed over time and a lot of pain, um, I'm not even going to explain because it's it's so complex. Um, it's it's just very very confusing. However, using it is a breeze. So, um, as with any macro, I first need to define it so I can run this part, and I'm going to run that, and that's going to define my output. My sorry, my macro remove characters, um, and then this I'm going to tell it. So I have two different times where I'm calling here. One, I'm going to say, call my macro remove characters. What variable? What do I want to use it on? Right. This is, I want to use it on my var, which is the name of my variable, and then what character do I want to remove? Let's say I wanted, let's say for some reason the dollar sign was illegal, right, or of course it depends on your data set, what you're trying to get rid of, but let's say you want to remove the dollar sign from every instance of this. So I can just run this, and you'll notice up here there's dollar sign here, 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 um, and just watch what happens. That's, there we go. Um, so it just deleted just the dollar sign, it, it moved things over one character, it didn't put in a, a blank spot for it, because I don't, I don't want to have that. Um, but that is really hard to do <laughs> in SPSS. Um, yet, now that I have this macro, it's very, very easy to call. I can call this macro and just change this variable here. Let's say I thought I had, here's bank here. Um, let me add bank to another one, just to show you, you can see, has money, okay. Um, now I'm going to run it here, um, and when I run this, you'll see bank disappear in those, in the different spots, right? The tricky part is, with SPSS, you have to know how wide this string is, so in this case it's one, in this case it's four, um, and take that into account, and that's what this part is doing here, and then it pipes it through there, and then it need to loop through. Like if I had the same one multiple times, I want it gone from everything, so it loops through it multiple times. Um, as I mentioned, it's it's incredibly, ridiculously complex. Um, but now that I have this macro, it's a breeze. Uh, the second example is sometimes I want to actually tell it not only what character but what position it is. And so I have this second macro, um, and again I need to define it. So I'm going to run this once and define it, and now it's defined. And this one is called remove cares, care position, right, to remind me that what variable do I want to use. And let's just say for some reason, let's say I had a number at the beginning or something, a character I didn't want to have at the very beginning, but I only wanted to delete it if it is that character. And so in this case, I'm going to look for a capital I or a lowercase f. And so in this one here, we have a lowercase f, capital I, first one here, Yet, here you can see there's a capital I here. Um, let's add, go to the car, found time. Um, so now there's another F here, right? Because what I want to demonstrate is when I run this, you'll notice they only disappear from those spots um, in the first character. Had I have put this somewhere else, it would have looked at that exact character and said, did you find either of these? This, by the way, it's the... Um, command n so i could go i could put a list of whatever characters i wanted in through here and it would go and um remove it would do the same thing for all of them so it just saves me a step if i have several characters that i care about i can easily pop them in there um, but that's it and this for those of you who who deal with trying to remove you know specific strings from spss or characters um you will understand just how beautiful this is and how much time it can save thank you